Right, here we are, we're gonna do a student expose, another student expose here, and we have uh, a game here with 76% accuracy, a game rating of 1450, so it's a pretty good effort. Let's have a look at the review and give our comments. The student in question here is playing the white side and uh, we see this Italian games type of stuff. Well, pretty, pretty good opening stuff going on here. Of course, the advanced uh, H3, G4 lines are definitely accurate, but uh, requires skill to play later on when the king defense can become an issue. And now over here, capturing is an interesting choice. Personally, I would have uh, favored knight over here, but uh, what do I know? This computer liked it. And this is also a very good move, actually. It shows an understanding of the position. So I quite like it. And now black is obviously starting to hone in and white is playing an early defensive move, which is understandable as well. I won't hold it against him. And here's a chance, a trick, an attempted trick to try to trap the bishop. Bishop is potentially trapped here. Uh, but apparently it's not perfect because the knight can always go back and then uh, eat up the spawn. But he misplays it. And therefore, the bishop is indeed trapped, sacrifices for a pawn, white maintains the edge, does some slow development, very good, slow development is patient, patient play is always good. When you're ahead and the equilibria is in your favor, just go, just go for it, you know. And now it looks like it was a little bit of a blunder here, but I'm not exactly sure why. It prefers rook takes because... Well, it's very double-edged, definitely very double-edged position. It's a very complicated position, actually. But knight captures could be a blunder because now, well, now you've got to settle for this, apparently. Okay, we can't, let's, let's see. So instead, white does this here. So black responds correctly with queen there and white just, puts the brakes on the position, and that's also a fair choice. A fairly good choice, made it difficult for black to come up with an idea, but you know, the queen stays alive, and this is a recurring theme in uh, our students' weaknesses, is allowing the queen to stay, stay alive for rather long. But uh, anyway, I finally managed to get him off. And here, of course, you should be trying to think how to trap this knight, but I don't know if that's really quite trapped here. So why does it like this move so much? It's... Well, the rook gets clumsy. The rook does get clumsy. So, yeah, that rook is also a partially trapped piece because, um, you know, if he's confined to having to defend something over here, then it can become kind of hard. So maybe that's why. But I don't know why the knight wouldn't come here instead. Oh, right, of course, there's also this idea of knight capturing here, exploiting the bishop diagonal, not allowing to capture back. So probably that's why. Anyway, good good game, good position. Uh, let's continue on with it. Some decent patient moves. I like these kind of patient moves. Okay, he could have had a tactical shot there to simplify the game further and take it to a winning end game where you would be a piece up, but we didn't get there, and still he's just you know just being a bit Machiavellian here to be honest. I mean, look at this. He's bro. You you might need to see someone. You might have a bit of a psychopathy problem too. Anyway, <laughs> good win and a good good finish over there. We're about four minutes into this video, so let's go to the next one. Here's another game from our same player. Look at that, 88% accuracy? Are you kidding me, 1900? Hey, what's Neiman, what's the trick? Tell us Neiman's tricks, man. You gotta, you gotta share some tricks, man. Like, how are you doing this? How are you doing this? All right, let's see what was so special about this game. All very solid opening. A solid opening is a great foundation for a good game that uh, I think we can see here, because as his opening tier knowledge has improved, his ability to play the middle game has also increased. 
and uh, therefore you're seeing the results. So opening knowledge definitely does matter, although I don't recommend that students obsess over it. Um, it's really just about getting good with tactics. That's what really counts more than anything else. Uh, but all in all, very good play. You know, he's got the bishop pair. Now, okay, this was a situation where you definitely should take the bishop there. I mean, it's a lovely outpost. Nothing stopping you, nothing interfering. Getting here, and now you're starting to make this a liability all of a sudden, and things could go awry. Things could go awry. Ah, that's a blunder. Oh, well, not exactly a blunder. It's just a swap. But not a... I mean, it's still winning, but it definitely could have been done better. This could have been handled better. All right. Now, with the bishop could get in a tricky position, but he goes here. That's a good square. Continues to harass the knight. And is the knight trapped? Are you kidding me? The knight was trapped this whole time? Yeah, he was. After this pawn push, the knight became a trapped piece. And that's why he... He correctly stayed on the diagonal and then snipped off the knight. Well done. And uh, seemingly resigned right after that. All right. Uh, that's two videos for now. I will, uh, I will uh, you know, let's continue with the next one. The next one. All right. Next game, we see 70% accuracy, but a, a solid opening game and a decent average middle game. Here our opponent, our student is black, so let's flip the board and see how he played with the black pieces. Eh, weird looking move, weird looking move here. Cause look, you've made this pawn a backwards pawn. You know, you, you don't want to make this pawn a backwards pawn. But I guess this is part of the idea. Okay, a computer is recommending, for example, <laughs> go go right ahead here. I mean, it's it's weird. It's weird. Let's see what what what's the follow through here. Capture, 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 and that's it. Allow that position. Allow yourself to be in that slightly negative position, but don't let it get worse. That's what the computer thinks. Because here, what White could have done is come in with the queen, harass the rook comes in here, then the other bishop comes in here and it gets you know it gets pretty hard. But luckily black was spared and white just has a solid edge but no concrete material advantage yet. And here's where white really needed to capitalize on his pressure to find the good pressurizing intense move to capitalize on the edge. There's no point in playing, a, what is this? What is this? It's a bad move. That's what it is. You gotta play where the game's at. So bad move from white there. And that brings black right back into the action with a good tempo building move here. But uh, he doesn't castle because he's afraid of the, uh, the tricks that come there. That's fair enough. And this is also somewhat attacking, so. I hear you, man. I hear you. But let's just see how you could have defended your castle. And then what if he dives in with the bishop? You retaliate the knight back? Yeah. Something like this is an option. And if he doesn't move the bishop here, of course, you can come in with the queen. And then he probably has to go there anyway, eventually. Or you move the king aside, and, and then he goes there. A bit, a bit surprising that the computer does it right away before provocation. But anyway. So we end up here, and now he goes for the jugular. He goes for the jugular, but this is a great move, and the queen's defending the knight, so it's a lovely position. And, oh, what a zinger. That's a zinger of a move. And another zinger. Wow, 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 bravo. That's a great, that's that's a triple wham slam, man. Look at that. Great move, great move, and uh, knocking him out. Well done. That's a uh, bravo.